The purpose of this stream is I'm really behind on work. Those who do not know the sort of timeline schedule I work on, when you see a song come out on YouTube, I have finished that song about two weeks before it came out because it has to, I have to give editors time to be able to edit it. I'm currently, I have no songs and I should have finished a song last Friday. So as a way to expedite the music making process, I thought it would be a fun idea for us to make a whole song start to finish on stream. This may go terribly. I may not be able to make this song and this will be like the one time I failed to make a song on stream. The person that I will be rapping about will be entirely voted on from you guys. So we've got a couple here. We've actually got a quite a lot. Giorno is obviously a character. I've got a request quite a lot. So let's put that down. Uh, Mario. <laughs> Sure. Who the hell is Nicholas the Renegade? Am I crazy? Oh, from Sword Art Online? Santa Claus? That's just Santa Claus. I'm not doing Santa Claus. Whitebeard is a good suggestion. Let's put that down. Thorfinn is also a good suggestion. Put that down. Sans. All right. Have I done Katakuri? I haven't. I can put him down. Uh, and I guess Doflamingo as well. Barack Obama. I'm not doing a Barack Obama rap. Megumi from uh, Jujutsu Kaiser, maybe. I'll put that down. I guess Senku. I guess I've not done a track about Senku, so we'll put that down. If it ends up being a character I do not know that much about, you guys are gonna have to come in clutch to help me write it. Because we're gonna do it if it wins the poll. Oh, Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh. That's a good one. Garo from One Punch Man is actually quite a good suggestion. I've not seen Noragami, but I'll put him down anyway. I guess I could do Sinbad from Margi. We'll put down Iron Man. I think that's a good suggestion. Ben 10? Do you think if I did a Ben 10 rap, people would care? I don't know enough about Ben 10, that's the problem. Bobo, -bo -bo. I could put Bobo -bo -bo down. Nobody would watch it, but it would be so fun. I'm putting it down. So here we go. We're gonna start voting. No losers bracket. You you either make it or you die. So there's gonna be eight, right? One, two, three, four. Oh shit. <laughs> what am I doing? All right, okay. All right, for this, <laughs> for this first place. First round. Oh, how do I make polls? Guys, I'm not a streamer. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what you expect from me. Yami, Gilgamesh, Ben 10, Kurapika. Good luck, guys. It looks like Ben 10 is winning this round. I don't know anything about Ben 10, guys. If Ben 10 wins, you guys have to really hold my hand on it because I don't know shit about Ben 10. This is going to be like fraud rap. <laughs> Who let the chat cook? There's a 43 minute lore video on YouTube. I guess we're watching that if it wins. So in the first MS Paint category, we're putting Ben 10 goes here. Ben... 10. All right, round two, Blue Lock, Tokyo Revengers, The Flash, Roy Mustang. The votes are open. Roy Mustang winging is quite good. You know, I almost made a Roy Mustang and Lieutenant Hawkeye track, but it fell through. It just sucks because this means that Roy Mustang is going to go up against Ben 10 in the semifinals. Oh no, the quarterfinals, <laughs> which I don't know if he's going to win. <laughs> My Eric Alphonse track was not very good, to be fair. I love Eric Elric. Is it Eric Elric? What, what am I saying? Is that not his name? Edward, it's <laughs> Edward, Edward Elric, not Eric Elric. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Roy Mustang wins the, uh, the second round. Roy. Next round, let's go. Iron Man. Imagine this is like a death battle between all four of them. Megami from Jujutsu Kaisen. Grim Jow. Gar, 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 how do you say his fucking name? Ga Garo, Garo, I'm just gonna say Garo. All right guys, round three begins now. Ooh, this one's a lot tighter. This one is a lot tighter than the other ones, but Jujutsu Kaisen Megami is winning with Iron Man close behind. Megami is, is pulling through, he's pulling He's pulling out. Grimjow losing because he only has one M. Oh, is he supposed to have two M's? I'm sorry. I also capitalized the Jow. Stupid of me. Who cares what this is about? Just remember to vote Ben 10. I can't, if Ben 10 wins. But will it beat Sans? Okay, it looks like Megumi has got this. Megumi. Round four is gonna be Giorno. Like the pizza. I'd reference the pizza. That's a guarantee. If I do a Giorno rap, I'm gonna reference the pizza brand. That's not, no, the pizza brand's different, isn't it? It's it, DiGiorno's, but I would still do it. Okay, Vigilante Deku, Sinbad from Margi, Yato from Noragami. Round four begins now. Oh, Giorno's kind of going crazy. Is it just because I said the pizza thing? Listen, I would make pizza references in the other ones. All right, Giorno wins. Giorno. All right, all right, guys. It's time. What is it, round five? This is like watching sports. So, Pain, Muzan, Kaido, Doflamingo. So, two One Piece reps on this one. It's live. Let's go. Oh, wow. Doflamingo out the gate. 
Jesus Christ! I thought pain would have hands in this battle, but Doflamingo goes mental. That was the biggest jump since Ben 10. Doflamingo's next up on this. Th that's how I spell Doflamingo. I'm a doctor. I hope you guys are ready. We're getting closer and closer to finding out what song we're making today. Thorfinn, Mario, five, which is Sans. Oh gosh, Blackbeard. The battle of Mario and Sans. Okay, round six is live. Oh, Sans just shoots out. Oh, Blackbeard's got quite a lot of votes here though. Blackbeard is my favorite villain in One Piece. Oh, Blackbeard is catching up. Oh my God, this might be the first one we see catch up. Oh my God, this is close. How much time do we have? We don't have much time on this, like 30 seconds. Oh my God, okay, Sans narrowly wins it. Holy shit, that was close. That was five votes. Listen, One Piece fans, you've got Doflamingo. If you want revenge, it will be Sans versus Doflamingo in the uh, quarterfinals. We only got eight remaining here. Buddha from Record of Ragnarok. Trunks from Dragon Ball. Ken Patchy from Bleach. Katakuri from One Piece. All right, round seven is going live. Ooh, Katakuri is winning. Katakuri is definitely winning. I have lots of One Piece fans, but I guess that makes sense. My stream audience might be a bit biased towards One Piece because I run a One Piece themed D&D series. <laughs> okay, Katakuri is next. Kata... Look at this cursive. Yeah, nice. All one line. Next up is just the remaining four, right? I, 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 I can see the four and I know what's going to win, but prove me wrong. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I just knew Whitebeard was going to win this. Like, there's no way that Whitebeard wasn't going to win this. The quarterfinals are really going to be One Piece characters versus, like, Ben 10 and, <laughs> and Sans. Guys, we have our quarterfinals. Ben 10 versus Roy Mustang. Doflamingo versus Sans. Megumi versus Giorno. And Katakuri versus Whitebeard. <laughs> just two One Piece reps. I would be happy to do all of them. Ben 10, I'd still be happy to do. I just don't know anything about Ben 10. All right, Ben 10 versus Roy Mustang. Three, two, one. It's life. Oh my God, it's close. Ben 10's narrow by like four. This is close, what the hell? Holy shit, it's like three votes different. Oh my God, Roy Mustang just took the lead. I've actually already written some Roy Mustang bars. I could just reuse those. I thought Ben 10 was gonna sweep. Roy Mustang coming in. Oh my God, it's two votes. One vote separates them. One vote set. Ben 10's taken the lead! I don't know what's gonna be. There's only like 20 seconds remaining. It's at 200. It's like four votes ahead. Holy shit, it's about to finish! Oh my god, Ben 10 won! How did that happen? Oh, whoa! Megami versus Giorno. My hair is so flat today. I don't know why it's so flat today. Oh, right, Megami took- Oh, holy shit. Megami took a lead immediately for me, and then it switched immediately back to Giorno. Now Giorno's in the lead, but this is another close one, guys. 120 to 120, 50-50 at the moment. Oh, it just went up. Why are these so close? Okay, Megami's just taken the lead. 164 to 153. Okay, there we go. Megami. It was very close at first. Megumi. Next one. Doflamingo versus Sans Undertale. Let us begin. Oh, Doflamingo takes a decisive lead. A lot of One Piece fans in here. This is not as close as the other ones. Doflamingo wins pretty decisively. I think that might've been the most decisive one. Quarterfinals four. All right, this is just two One Piece characters. Who do you guys like more, Katakuri or Whitebeard? Whitebeard is winning. Don't worry, I'll be rapping about Ben 10. It's, whoa, holy shit, it's 50-50. I thought Whitebeard was decisively winning, but Katakuri just came back. 171 to 167 is the current score. 174 to 173. Whitebeard wins. It is still 50%. Whitebeard wins by one vote. All right, Ben 10 versus Megumi. The poll in 3, 2, 1 is live. Ben 10 is winning at the moment. I did forget to capitalize Ben 10's name. I don't know if that's gonna like play against him at all. Everyone's saying that Ben 10's gonna sweep the finals. I think the One Piece fans in here are stronger than the Ben 10 fans. Uh, listen, I don't know anything about Ben 10. I almost didn't put him on the list. If Ben 10 wins, I'm gonna be watching a law video on stream at like 1.75 speed taking loads of notes and we're gonna be writing. Maguire is obsessed with Ben 10. I will have a Discord call with Maguire if Ben 10 wins and he can tell me all the lore I need to mention in a rap. It looks like Ben 10's winning this one. Doflamingo versus Whitebeard is next. Poll is live. Doflamingo takes a decisive lead immediately, but we'll see if Whitebeard can catch up. This is decisive for Doflamingo, I think. At some point during this stream, I will need to eat and you guys will be voting on what food I will be eating. Are you guys ready for the finals? of the Rustage What Am I Gonna Make A Song About This Stream competition. Doflamingo and Ben 10. Let the polling begin. 
Joe Flamingo takes a lead. Ben 10 takes a lead again. Oh, it's actually close. It's actually close. It's 50 50 at the moment. 122 to 128. 49 to 51 percent. Doe Flamingo slowly in the lead. Ben 10 fans could come in clutch here. It, Doe Flamingo is narrowly winning. 51 to 49 percent. They're about seven votes ahead. No, now they're only two votes ahead. Oh, now that's tied. 191 to 9, 192. Now Ben 10 is ahead. 199 to 196. 201 to 200. It is 50 50. 203 to 200. One. Oh, the 205 to 205. It's 50 50. Ben 10 and Do Flamingo back and forth. Ben 10 is ever so slightly ahead. Is he going to keep this lead or will Do Flamingo come back? The viewers have increased. Are people like making accounts to vote in this poll? There are seven people in the world that can decide the course of history with this, mo with this moment. 243 to 237. This is so close. It's about to finish. It is just about to finish. It looks like Ben 10 is going to take it. Eight votes ahead for Ben. Ben 10 wins. Ben 10 is the winner. I didn't. I put down Ben 10. Like, ah, yeah, fuck it. I'll put down Ben 10. It probably won't win. And it sweeps Ben 10. I don't know anything about Ben 10. The entire story of Ben 10, all five parts. What are we doing? Two times speed or like 1.75 speed? I'm ready. Unquantified All right, I need to take time notes. Ago, there was a blank dimension without a universe in it. The fifth dimensional cosmic traveling beings known as the Quantumalia arrive at this dimension and continue their never-ending expedition uh -huh. of creating universes through this device known as the Anilar Genesis Oriophimia Cost. Or the Anilar. Wh sure. What? Why? Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Why? Sorry. Why? Sorry. Wait, sorry. Wait, wait, sorry. Wait, that's... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you can't start like that. You can't start like that. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta arrive it. We gotta arrive it. What did he say? I, I, uh, Annihilogenesis Toria Fimia Ghost. I think I nailed that. Listen, this is what I know about Ben 10. He is a boy and he has a watch that makes him transform into aliens. Ben, his name is Ben? I need to watch all of this. The hero of here, circa 1131, the medieval era. Georges, a Roman soldier cursed with immortality, is defending his land from a cross-dimensional shape-shifting being known as the Dagon, enslaver of a hundred different dimensions, and his army of demon lacubras. To relinquish the assault, Asmuth offers the knight his sword if Sir George, the Roman soldier's current name, was worthy enough to wield it. Sir George indulges on Asmuth's offer and engages Sir in an epic battle, ending with George cutting out the heart of the Dagon and leaving Ascalon buried within. As the Dagon's heart was the source of his power, George was then able to magically seal the Dagon away, freeing humanity from his reign. Sir George then founded the Forever Knight. This doesn't feel like Ben 10. What are, what's going on? Actually, let's pause. Before we continue our lore discussion, let us think instrumentally. I'm gonna find like a sample that will work well in this. It's like a sci-fi sort of like sci-fi trap. Maybe I should get like machine noises. Hold up. There's something there. I was so scared about doing this stream because when you make music, it's like shit until it isn't. It's gonna be a while until this sounds like something good. I'm a killing machine. That's none like Joshua. Why has he come off on here? Wait, hold up. That's kind of cooking. <laughs> kind of cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Let me listen to the Ben 10 theme song. I'm gonna type in theremin. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> We're gonna bring that theremin in. The really bad sounding theremin. I have an idea. If we pitched it down. This is ass. This is who, who let him cook. <laughs> this is ass. What am I doing? Oh god. Okay. This sucks. This is like AI generated music. It was such a bad idea. <laughs> I'm finding more theremins. I don't think a theremin is a good instrument. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Hey, hey. They be calling me Ben 10. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I kind of like this. These horns? That has that sort of sci-fi vibey feel that could work. We're going to just do this. And I also like this machine sound that we had before. Yeah. That's cool, right? We need a theremin. Uh, I could just see if there's like a theremin... Hello? Who's here? 
<laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I sometimes I do funny little bits for you guys. I'm not funny. No, I should get a theremin serum sound or something. Whoa, hold up. Might be a good bass line. Oh, wait, wait, that could work. That could work. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see if that sounds good. Well, that's kind of good. I like that. And then we got this thing called Spooky Low. So if I could figure out what chords are being played here, I could do like a... Listen to that. If we can do that on the beats, right? So I'm gonna have to open up Melody. This is how I figure out chords and samples. You could put stuff into it like this. It will tell you, ah, these are the notes being played. So actually these are just two chords. Bum, bum. Oh. Kind of like that. See how that sounds with everything else. Okay, we've got an idea. We've got something. We've got something. Now, now, we want variation here. So, we're going to take this lead and we're going to make a new pattern. Um, and we're gonna take that down an octave. So then we can do a whole section where it's just that lead with the drums and the bass without the organ. So it goes. Hey. That's sick, right? We still need a theremin though. We, we can't not have this track without a theremin. We gotta have a theremin. What about that? These don't really work, right? That's the theremin. We, we'll, we'll make it work. Do you think that will help? Oh, yeah. We got to start with the theremin and then it comes in like this. I, I might be crazy here, but listen to this. I don't know what it sounds like. So, so you got it, right, right, right. Yeah, cause I've been, been ten man a time on like a time on this. You see the vision, right? I didn't think we would get to this point. I am actually surprised we are here. You know what I mean by it's always shit until it isn't. This is a Ben Ten beat. Uh, it needs strings. It needs strings. It needs strings that go. Uh, you know what I mean? Trust me, trust me on this. Right, we're gonna take that. I'm gonna put this in, in here. I'm gonna do the same here, which is not too down, I think. So yeah, that doesn't sound quite right at the moment. This is where automation comes in. So we're gonna create an automation clip and we're gonna make the peak the middle here. And I hope this sounds like how I want it to sound. You get it, you get the vibe. All right, okay. All right, I think we have the instrumental down. Now we've got to get to studying Ben 10. George Washington is leading a secret organized branch of hunters. George Washington? Supernatural threats and rumors. A stranded Maltruan arrives here and receives aid from a young banished traveler named Vilgax. Vilgax helps Maltruan repair his ship, and in return, Maltruan... Why is George Washington here? Inspiring the... Inspiring the tale of George Washington cutting down the cherry tree? What are we... What are we talking about? This sets up the creation of the plumbers, meant to fix leaks in normal society. They create a headquarters hidden behind the faces of Mount Rushmore. They create a headquarters behind the faces of Mount Rushmore? They're called the plumbers? What are you talking about? As their adventures continue. Alien DNA, Kevin's a bad guy. I should I, I will look up individually the the different types of aliens he has in him. Did he say Kevin? What was his name? Is his name Kevin? Into Kevin, who uses his abilities. His name's Kevin? What a name. The evil Kevin is here. Kevin 11? Vilgax successfully captures Ben. Talk oh no! Army of his secret life, and the three become stronger and closer together. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad they become stronger and closer together. With Kevin, who has now permanently damaged his body with the alien DNA. What happened to Kevin? Steals them both away in the Null Void, an alternate dimension made to inhabit the galaxy's worst criminals. All right, Null Void. Why don't you just kill him? Then they'll be gone forever. And battles Vilgax and his army one final time without using Wait, how did Vilgax get back? I thought he was in the Null Void. Oh, what, what is this form? He doesn't tell me. His name is way big? I thought you were just explaining what he did. Oh, he names them. Himself. Heat blast. Forearms. I thought they would have names like Jonathan. 
I thought they'd have like name names. I didn't think they would be like Big Man and lots of arm. I, I didn't realize. I'm going Jonathan. Ghost Freak. Leave him on red how I ghost a freak. Hold up, that's actually kind of funny. It's kind of a bar. I'm putting that, I'm putting that in there. This, Kevin learns to absorb matter instead, creating a suit of armor with whatever material he touches. Moral has Kevin huh? by sacrificing his life at the hand of- Metal on my body like I'm Kevin. Who is this man? Cervantes was a corrupted scientist who frequently abducted children and performed- he abducts children? Listen, we've all done that. And lets them loose once again into the Null Void. With his new friend by his side, Kevin and Argent. The Null Void doesn't seem like a place people are trapped. It seems like a nice place to, for people to hang out between evil. Like, I feel like they're heading back to the Null Void, like, for a coffee break. It's just the employee lounge for villains. And wander the Null Void. They eventually find a way out. And after a few scans- How could you find a way out of the Null Void? Isn't that the point of the Null Void is there's no way out? I feel like the first time that someone escapes from the Null Void, they will stop putting people there. You know what I mean? You would just kill them. Four years later, Ben is now 15 years old and continues living a normal life, playing sports and drinking smoothies. With <laughs> Specifically true. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they point out that he drinks smoothies now? They are skipping over a lot of stuff, I assume, because it's like a brief summary. Is smoothies really important? Like, he really likes smoothies a lot. It will become a plot point? Well, well, then we're mentioning it in the rap. And most importantly, Ben had unlocked his most powerful transformation yet, Alien X, a nigh omnipotent being that can bend reality with a mere thought. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, sure. Alien X, bend reality. Yeah, I, I will put in that he could beat Goku. Months later, Vilgax arrives on Earth with his follower, Siphon. Vilgax is back? Why is he here? Vilgax barely goes awry, breaking the Omnitrix, releasing some of Ben's aliens into the world, and permanently mutating Kevin for a second time. The trio work together. Kevin's really gotta catch a break. He's constantly just mutating. The destruction of the Omnitrix also cures Kevin, as the frequency from their original experiment is what I mean, great. I'm glad the destruction of the Omnitrix just also happens to cure Kevin. That just feels like, oh shit, we've gotta cure Kevin. Oh shit, he's still like, all fucked up. Oh, we'll have the explosion cure him. That's fine. Off the coast of the ocean, Vilgax washes up and is found by bystanders. Two weeks from- Vilgax is still alive! Do I need to watch- Okay, B McGuire's ready. All right. Maguire is gonna tell me everything I need to know. Uh, hello? Are you on your phone? Are you at work? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna record on my lunch break. Do you, you had a chorus idea, right? I did. You want me to sing it for you right now? Yeah, sing it for me right now. Who said the legacy's borrowed? Who said we're promised tomorrow? Wait. This life's a race, so don't follow. This is, that's, is this the thing I've done already? This is, um... Da, 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 da. Oh, it's Hold Me Down. Oh! Same shock and never got You it just sung, you just sung me hold God me damn. down. Do it again. Listen, how about do something mm -hmm. where there's space for rapping so that we can have like a rap singing hook together. I'm I'm down with that. Uh, I also am, am down to give you some some okay. lore. The big thing about the Omnitrix, it is pre-programmed with ten aliens DNA. Okay, and he can only transform for. I 10 need minutes. those ten aliens, please. Wild mutt. Wild mutt. Uh, which is, he's like a, I like got, a dog. I got with my like dogs your, like it's wild mutt. Rip jaw. Rip which, jaw. He's stink fly. All right, that sounds shit. Gray matter, heat blast. I mean, it feels pretty cliche to me to say I spit fire like heat blast. Okay, chat, would you be upset with me if I just say <laughs> I spit fire like heat blast? I would be upset. Okay, okay, there's a lot of upsets. Okay, all right, we'll think of yeah. a cleverer I'll line than I spit fire like heat blast. There's like a crazy scene in the original Ben 10 where Ghost Freak rips his fucking skin off. <laughs> and it, oh. it horrified me as a kid. Thank you. Thank you, Maguire. Yeah. Now's the hard part. Now we're going to start writing. Leave him on red how I ghost a freak. We could just go off the basis of an OTE rhyme scheme and then end it with the ghost of freak line, if that makes sense. Yo, I'm bubbly like a soda stream. <laughs> this bit is always so... Difficult. I'm Xing out these aliens way I'm- Wait, wait, cause Alien X, I'm Xing out these aliens way I'm even leaving Goku beat. Wait, wait, we actually kind of are cooking. I'm not- Someone said I'm filling ladies ovaries? No, I'm not saying that. Wait, did Connor send me a verse already? Alright, we gotta listen to Connor's verse cause it's gonna be really good. Let's go. Oh All right. yeah. I spit fire like heat blast. There's aliens among us. <laughs> that dog in me, wild mutt. <laughs> fast, like I kill him with the word Omnitrix. <laughs> Hit him in the arm, knee. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kirk! Connor's verse is gonna be so good though. Just you guys wait. <laughs> Could I say like hitting brains like dopamine? Would that make sense? 
brainstorm. I could say storm in brains like dopamine. I kind of like Norton because you can do a lot of like post mortem absorption. Ranger, I might eat more for no malware where I move like Norton. They don't like my feedback like his microphone distortion. Ranger, I might eat more for no malware where I move like Norton. These people don't like my feedback as if my mic is distorting. I'm bit. Yeah, that works. 23, like I'm Jordan. Wait, is Michael Jordan number 23? He is! We've got a bar, we've got a bar on our hands. Ben 10, 23, Michael Jordan. I'm 23 like I'm Jordan, the way that I'm 23 like I'm Jordan, the way the cannon is balling. I'm iridescent. Does he have any alien types that like glow? Chromastone? My chrome is iridescent, man, I'm a living weapon. I be accelerating way I'm quick with- Way I move with quick connections is way is good. My chrome is iridescent, man, I'm a living weapon. I be accelerating way I move with quick connections. You wanna- Oh, Kevin, Kevin rhymes. Kevin is in this rhyme scheme. I gotta say, I've worked on teacher lessons. I keep that metal on my body like my name was Kevin. Oh, I got a call. Oh, your is this the pizza? It's pizza time. I'm just gonna talk to you guys while eating pizza. Is that okay? Japan was good. I can talk to you guys about Japan. But Saturday night, I did something that I don't usually do. I don't drink alcohol. I'm not a man that goes out partying. I don't go to pubs. I don't go to bars. I don't go to clubs. But I was sat night in Fukuoka, I had nothing to do, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go out. And I found this place called The Hub. It says British Pub. So I was like, oh my god, that's for me, I'm British. So I went in, had a gin and tonic. Everyone there was Japanese, mostly. Eventually I met some foreign people. And there was like a 43-year-old man who came up to me, and he was like... You wanna know how to get Asian pussy? <laughs> Alright, I've pretty much finished my pizza now. Maguire's just sent me the hook idea. Oh! Oh wait! That's exactly, that exactly works. Wait, let me mix that in, let me mix that in, let me mix that in. I have a preset for Maguire's vocals that I use now. It's not wrong to hope I pass collide. Hero time is his catchphrase. Hero time sounds silly though. Yeah. Hey, and I've been feeling like it's hero time. It doesn't have that hero time as zero rhymes. Wait a second. Ah! You already know it's hero time. Wait, I kind of wait. Okay, fuck it. We can do it. Yeah. You already know it's hero time. Uh, okay, it's recording time. You guys can still hear me, but you cannot hear the instrumental. I think this is always the bit that I end up hating myself the most on. Yeah. Yeah, you already know it's here at time. We keep them fighting for the planet because it's do or die, yeah. Take a listen, take a listen, take a listen. Yeah, you already know it's here at time. We keep them fighting for the planet because it's do or die, yeah. Yeah, you already know it's here at time. I've been spinning up the Omni, I'm gonna feel alive. It's not fun to hope I pass the line. I might add some extra ad libs in that hooks. Let's start recording the verse. These bits are gonna be really difficult. Omni tricks that means I'm packing more than groceries. I'm etsing out these aliens way. I'm even leaving Goku beat. Blast them and I overheat. Storm and brains like dopamine. Leaving them a red, cause that's exactly how I ghost a freak. Uh, Ranger, I'm mighty morphing the malware. I move like not, and these people don't like my feedback as if my mic is it Ah, fuck! Fuck! Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, my chrome is iridescent, man, I'm a living weapon. I be accelerating where you move with quick connections. The void gonna teach you lessons. I'm changing state amendments. I keep that metal on my body like my name was Kevin. Vilgax, so they see stars. Universe, man, I restart. Icy wrist and I spit and sick them in the flow. is cold when the heat blasts. Send a man to the ER, upgrade with machine parts. Diamond fist where I'm hitting ships. Only alien with a green card. <laughs> We're gonna do some backing vocals and we'll see how this works. Groceries. Goku beat. Overheat. Dopamine. Ghost of Freak. Alright. Now we're gonna do some ad libs. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh god, that probably sounded so bad just hearing me do that. After an hour of voting and Ben 10 winning, after doing so much Ben 10 related research, after producing a track out of my ass. Uh, let's take a listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Army tricks that means I'm packing more than groceries. I'm exing out these aliens where I'm even leaving Goku beat. Blast them and I overheat. Storing brains like dopamine. Leaving them on break, cause that's exactly how I ghost the fifth ranger. I'm mighty morphing them. My way I move like Norton. These people don't like my feedback. As if a mic is distorting my 23 like a Jordan. The way the cannon is boring, man. I'm Ben 10. And they ain't anyone of importance. Huh? My chrome is iridescent. Man, I'm a living weapon. I'll be accelerating where you're moving quick connections. The void don't teach you lessons. I'm changing state amendments. I keep that metal on my body like my name was Kevin. No gags so they see stars. Universe, man, I restart. I see racing the spitting sick. I mean, the flow is cold when the heat blasts. Send a man to the ER. Upgrade with machine parts. Diamond fits where I'm hitting ships. Only alien with a green card. Huh. You already know it's here a time. We keep on fighting for the planet cause it's do or die. <laughs> you already know it's here a time. I've been spinning up the Omni, I can feel alive. Yeah, you already know it's here a time. We keep on fighting for the planet cause it's do or die. Yeah. yeah, you already know it's here a time. I've been spinning up the Omni, I can feel alive. There you go. From someone who has no knowledge of Ben 10, it won the poll, I've made the song. Thank you guys for coming, I appreciate it. We made a song, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but we did it, and uh, yeah, woo!